Welcome to Sometime 3. Today we're working with page 14 and today's lesson is called Fractions 11. Today we're going to use fractions to work out the whole. Let's pretend that this picture represents a class. We've divided the class into different fractions. How many fractions are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now if I tell you each fraction represents 4 pupils. Let's shade 3 of them. 1, 2, 3. So we've shaded 3 ninths. Now, if every fraction represents four pupils, we multiply four by three. One, two, three. And three fours are twelve. So the colored blocks represent twelve pupils. Now then, we divided the class into nine equal fractions. Each part each fraction represents four pupils. So 9 times 4, that's 36. There are 36 pupils in the class. Let me summarize that for you. There are 9 fractions. This means there are 9 equal parts. 3 fractions are shaded. If each fraction represents 4 pupils, then the shaded fractions represent 3 times 4. That's 12 pupils. If each fraction represents 4 pupils, then there are 9 times 4. That's 36 pupils in the class. That's not so difficult, is it? Let's find out about another class. Each fraction represents two pupils. The red fractions represent the boys. The green fractions represent the girls. How many boys are there? Let's count the red fractions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each fraction represents two pupils. So 7 times 2, that's 14. There are 14 boys in the class. How many girls are there? Let's count the green fractions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 2, 18. So there are 14 boys and 18 girls. How many does that make altogether? 32. There are 32 children in the class, 14 boys and 18 girls. Let me summarize that for you. This class is divided into 16 fractions, 16 equal parts. Seven are colored red, so seven sixteenths are red. Seven sixteenths of the class are boys, and nine sixteenths of the class are girls. Seven sixteenths is the same as 14 boys. That's all for today.